Thank you, Dan. And as we cover politics this afternoon, jurors in Hunter Biden's gun trial began deliberating this afternoon. His fate late this afternoon. It comes after closing arguments in which both the prosecution and defense had one last chance to make their case. News today's Rebecca Castor joins us from outside the federal courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware, with the latest. The first of two criminal trials for the first son is coming to a close as attorneys make their final arguments to jurors and Hunter Biden's fate is in their hands. Family members and allies showing support for Hunter Biden at a Delaware courthouse Monday as the trial portion of his federal gun case comes to an end. The prosecution opened with a bang and this is what they did. They pointed to where the first lady was sitting and they said this, the people in, sitting in this gallery are not evidence. During closing arguments, attorney Leo Weiss said text messages, bank records, and quote, personal, ugly, and overwhelming testimony prove Hunter Biden was a drug user when he bought a gun in 2018. But defense attorneys argue the opposite, that Hunter was not using drugs during the 11 days he had the gun. They're trying to sow a seed of doubt in the jury after choosing not to call Hunter to the stand. There was just too much material in his text messages that he could be cross-examined about and it would open the door to many of the other cases that were not necessarily in front of the jurors. The panel of six men and six women are now tasked with deciding whether Hunter is guilty of three felony charges. He's also facing federal tax charges in Los Angeles, though analysts say it's too soon to tell whether his legal issues will impact his father's re-election bid. What other investigations are on the horizon that may result in evidence that damages Joe Biden? President Biden has said he will accept the jury's verdict and not pardon his son if he's convicted. In Wilmington, Delaware, Rebecca Castor, News 15.